Welcome to your tutorial number 5 for CSCI 130 here at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Um, in this tutorial I wanna further explain about the use of the VAL function. If you recall in our previous tutorial, in tutorial number 4, we I was adding the, the VAL function to whatever we were reading from a text box so here on video 5.14 from your textbook there are some examples and the results that you get when when you're actually reading the information so so on the first example they say well if the user type is uh, 16 so notice that the 16 is enclosed in quotation that's how we identify what we call a string so a string is, is another way in, in this case to, to, to say that we're reading some type of text from the from the user so we're reading that in the equivalent of the numerical value of the string 16 or the text 16 is the 16 if you go on the next example that means the user typed a negative 3 in text which is equivalent to negative 3 in numerical value and so on so on the fourth example where they type the 67a4 the system is going to do what we call we're going to truncate so it sees a 6 and a 7 and then after that there is a letter so it ignores what's after the 7 so it's only just getting the 6, 67 the same happens on the next one where it's an a plus 5 I mean it's not going to compute the 15 because remember this is text so it's getting a and then it says oh it's a symbol that is not a digit it's not a number I don't recognize now so ignore the rest so just getting the 8 and the same with the other examples but look at how in one of the examples they start with the plus symbol so when the plus was after the 8 it was it was ignored but when the plus is before the digit then it says ok and then also notice how the spaces are ignored because there is a plus 1 a space 2 a space 3 so it's, 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 it's getting that as the number 1 2 3 4 5 so it's actually the number 12,345 and then on the last example we got the word hello which is there is no doesn't begin with a number so the whole thing is ignored in this case it's going to get a zero so let's 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 have a very small um create a small uh visual basic project in which we do some of we test some of these um, examples so i have already here uh, already created i mean remember you just go into uh the start and then you click on all programs and then you look for the visual basic and then you create a project you save it you give a name so now I just want to do some testing of what we just learned about the valve so what I need is a text box so I'm gonna go and click and look for a text box so right here Maybe I'm going to change the title of my form. So I'm going to go and say instead of, of so I'm clicking on the form where it says text, I'm going to have something that says um, uh, val example. Just because I don't like that the title says form one. Look at how the title changes. So I got this. And then uh, I'm going to need a button that we're going to click and display results. So let's, let's change the text and say, okay, let's call it this play result and let's also have a label on top of the text box just to have this in a nice way and let's type there enter um, enter Oh, I know. Type something in the text box. Okay, so now we want to see the result. So let's put a label for display the result. So we're putting here a label. So again, this label if I take away the text is gone I mean it will be difficult to find it because it's, 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 it's out of size so what we need to do is out of size true it says no I don't want out of size this time so put a false then I'm gonna take the text 
let's erase the text so this is going to display my result and uh, border style this is known let's put fixed single okay so we got this and we got enough okay we just we, we just want to experiment what what is going on with the val function so again like in the previous uh, example that we got we're gonna double click on the label and we want to read something from the text box right and you remember the way that we display data we go with it says label now we got two labels label one and label two when we don't remember which label is the one that we're talking about let's you need to go back to the interface and click on the label at one look at when i click how these control points are being displayed around the border so i'm talking about this and and and, and it has a name so the name is label two so i want to be displayed on label two not on this will be label one okay so let's go back to the code and then it says label it is giving me an error because it didn't type label two. So I want on label two that text. I want some text to be displayed there. Then we're gonna say equal. Um, you know, let's 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 try something for now. Let's let's try now before I do that. I, I just wanna play with this. Let's type the word hello and see if we understand what's going on. So so when I'm clicking on label, when when I'm clicking on that button, it's gonna display on label two. Hello. Let's see. F5 is not what I want, but I mean, I'm just couldn't resist to play with this. Okay, so here, so look, I don't even need to type anything, I just click on this and look, it's this place hello. Okay, now let's go back on task. Now let's take away this. So, on label two, what is it that I want to display? Well, I want to display the numerical value of what is in what the user typed on text box uh, one, right. So we do the val, and that's what we want to practice. And inside, I mean, remember to enclose that in parentheses. I'm gonna say whatever is on text box one, and text box one is an object. So we say text box one dot text. Okay. So that's it. We're done. One need that. So we want to display that. So now we're gonna do f i, and let's see if we can remember some of the examples. So here is my my application. So if I type 12, value is 12, negative 9, display result, negative 9. If I say 56, Quevedo, it should say 56. If I say 1, space 56, space 47, display result. So it's concatenating in all the numbers. So if I say, oh no my friend and then I say display result is a zero or if I say find this 45 so display now is a zero so you're gonna start with the 45 however if I put the 45 at the beginning and then I do display result it gives me the 45 okay this is uh, this is the only thing that I wanted to do for this tutorial. I mean, so you can understand what is the purpose of that. But I mean, uh, again, if we don't have this, I mean, also something that you can that you can practice. Do the same experiment and take away the val part, and see what happens when you add plus three to that uh, whatever you're reading, and you provide something that is not a number. So. That will be a good experiment for you to do okay so thank you and please uh, be ready for the next tutorial